Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the upcoming events and banners for June and July. And I'm going to be covering both months because it's actually quite important to save for July as well. So the next two months have a lot of really critical banners. And as a result, you're going to have to be very careful about which banners to draw on and which banners are worth saving on. Now, I currently have the predicted banner schedule for global uh, page shown because to be honest, they have now pretty much, they pretty much have as much information on this page, if not more information than I do in my predicted banner schedules. So I'm starting to think that I should just refer to them instead. Although I may choose to reorganize their information for future videos to make it easier to see. Because as you see here, right, there's so much information on this page that it can be kind of hard to get the information about each individual banner. Especially since every single, I guess, uh, Every single line that has this triangle at the top right means that there is additional information about events and so on. So this is, nonetheless, this is a great page with a lot of information on it. So I guess I'll have a link to this in the video description. And with this mentioned, let's talk about the upcoming banners and events for the next two months. All right. So I still have it shown in my personal, uh, I guess layout and I'm definitely going to be improving this layout for the future videos okay uh, just assuming I have time to do so right in any case let's begin so we now know that we're getting Maya and Aries first of all for well this Thursday and with it there's gonna be the auto chess style limited time event there's gonna be a world map event called a different traveler and three C's that are unlocked you know I've already talked about this banner in deed or this update in detail so we can pretty much skip it okay next week there will be a Shafaniel and Betty banner and that banner should have also the lunar new year event and that event is kind of a follow-up to the old Geralt and Layla event so it's like a sequel to it and this event once again gives you 60 Geralt and Layla shards so if you don't have Geralt and Layla you're going to get a free copy of Geralt and Layla uh, from the event that starts next week. So, what this means is there's going to be this, you know, there's going to be, this is going to be the two week event, I think, right? So, after the Lunar New Year event, the following week we'll have an Illustrial, Diharto, and Young Jessica banner, right? Illustrial is really only good at six stars. Diharto is pretty much the same. Young Jessica, though, is actually quite good in general right um i highly recommend you draw on this banner to try to get young jessica assuming you already have illustrial and dihart though of course right if you don't it will kind of be a gamble on which one you get but overall this banner is not a bad one to draw on like i mean if you're missing dihart though you can get him now because you're going to need him to unlock tierra spawns for example right and then you know young jessica is just incredibly versatile and useful so i feel it's pretty much a must draw banner with this banner as well, there's actually two additional events. There's going to be a limited time joint battle event, which starts the following Monday. So the updates are always on Thursday. But the following Monday, there will be the introduction of a new limited time joint battle event. And in addition to that, it's expected that this week will have limited time store deals. And the store deals would be kind of similar to what we got during the first year anniversary, right? For example, there's going to be a new set of shard bags, right? Where you purchase, you know, one of the bags and you randomly get shards of one of the characters in that bag, right? Usually each bag has three characters, if I recall properly, and you get 60 shards of that hero, right? There's going to be an SSR equipment bag, presumably one where you can choose the equipment, I think. Right, uh, kind of similar. Sorry, not that you can choose the equipment. Once again, it's bags with various equipment in them, right? And you randomly get one of the gear that's in the bag. And finally, there's a few other deals, including the most important one. You get five summon tickets for around one dollar, right? So that is an amazing deal, right? Getting five summon tickets, five times eighty-eight is what? Close to five hundred. Um, Trinity voucher, sorry, Trinity crystals. So 
for one dollar, that's a great deal to purchase. If you're willing to put in a few bucks into the game anyways. So a whole bunch of good things to come on that update. The week after that will be a Leaden Rachel Ulti Muller banner with Macho Lotto. Um, not too much to say about that, you know. If you don't have Leaden, draw on it. Like if you don't have Ulti Muller, draw on it. If you don't have Rachel, draw on it. Long story short, right? And after that banner will be an Elusia and Shilinka banner, right? So this banner is very much not a must draw on. The prize though is, in my opinion, Shilinka. So. Elucia is kind of like, I believe she's like a water tank, aqua another aquatic tank, and you don't need more tanks, right? Whereas Shilinka is another assassin style character. Um, I'll do my preview video on them later, you know, these preview videos takes time to put together, so I'll have one put together sometime this month for sure, right? I plan to get it done, you know, by next week, but we'll see. So that banner though, ultimately is not a must draw on. Uh, I believe Shilinka is a fun to play character, but a, not a must have, okay? So I imagine most people will skip that banner, especially because the week after Elusia and Shilinka, there is going to be the Chinese Valentine's event that's running once again, right? So I'll go over those in detail. And uh, oh, one other thing I should mention about the Lucia Shilinka banner, since it's a major update, that major update will introduce the next five chapters of the plotline. So Act 2, chapters 11 to 15, where you can get more Olivia shards. You know, the cavalry assassin character, Olivia. Okay. And with that major update, the three C's that will be added is of course Elusia, Shilinka, but you're going to get Lana, Diharto, and Kurama with three C's. So three new, so Lana and Kurama both are AOE strikers. They're going to get their three C. Diharto, well, it's good. To, well, for me, it's going to be great to get that he gets his three C, right? And the exclusives for that month, that major update, will be Young Jessica and Angelica. More on that later, right? Once again, it's a bit far away to cover now. I'll cover it the week before, more or less. Okay. If you want more information about all of that right now, of course, refer to the Wiki Crystal page. So moving on to why I extended this to cover the next two months, and it's because of that Chinese Valentine's event, okay? With the three banners. So there's three two-character banners, Landius and Angelina for the first one, Lanford and Mr. Knight for the second, and Sigma and Claret for the third banner. The event mechanics is that it's going to be the exact same as the first time this event ran, okay? And what's important about this is the way it works is you can draw on any of these banners, and as long as you get a hero on the from the banner, so not an off-banner hero, but one of the SSRs that's on banner, you get a trading item. I believe... They, I believe they called it the CP token in the first event, okay? Short for couples token, I guess. So the CP token can be used to trade 50 shards of any one of these heroes for 60 shards of the other hero. So what this means, for example, is let's say I want Angelina shards, but I don't want to draw on this particular Landius and Angelina banner, okay? So what I can do, actually, yeah. So what I can do is I can do my draws on Lanford and Mystery Knight. As long as I get one of them, I'm going to get the CP token, right? And let's say for this event, I saved up 50 Landia shards in advance. So I started grinding 50 shards of Landia's all the way before this event. So with the CP token, I can trade those 50 Landia shards for 60 shards of Angelina. Just like that. Even though I'm draw I'm I've never draw on the Landius and Angelina banner, I can still do that trade. So you can potentially trade up to six times because remember, you're trading 50 shards for 60. So as long as you need those shards, you're gonna get a 10 shard profit from trading twice, right? And yeah, it's a great way to unlock characters that you don't have in general and so on. So in my case, I will most likely, at least I think, what I will most likely do is I'm probably actually going to draw on Landius and Angelina 
right? If I get a Landius, I can instantly trade for Angelina shards, right? If I get Angelina, I can, well, keep drawing until I get a Landius and then quit once I've gotten one Landius. So that's that would be one way for me to profit from this uh, trading, the CP token trading, right? And then other than that, you know, I should probably also save up 50 Landford shards so that I can instantly trade for 60 shards of Mystery Knight and unlock her. Of course, I can also always also draw on Lanford and Mystery Knight and hope I get multiple copies of Mystery Knight. But yeah, so that there's various ways to play around with this event. Yeah. So very, very useful event, right? Just you as long as you plan it out, plan out having 50 shards of one hero, as long as you get any hero that's on this banner, you can start doing various trades. So in the last event, for example, I know I traded for a copy of Listel, um, and I just took full advantage of that event for sure. So most likely for this event, what I will probably do is, as I mentioned, draw on Landis and Angelina, right? And hope to get one copy of Angelina. Then I'll probably draw on, let's say, Lanford and Mystery Knight. If I get Lanford, I'll trade for Mystery Knight shards, right? And if I get Mystery Knight, perfect. And then finally, you know, between Sigma and Claret, I'll probably want to save up 50 Sigma shards to trade for 60 Claret shards, if I plan to use Claret, for example. So it's just a great way to take advantage to unlock heroes and whatnot. As long as you have, as I said, as long as you have one of the heroes, then you're very, then you can farm shards of that hero in advance, have 50 shards and be ready for trading. Right? So another way to take advantage of this banner is maybe, for example, save up 50 shards of Lanius, save up 50 shards of Sigma. Right, then I'm gonna draw crazily on the Lanford and Mystery Knight banner to get as many copies of them as possible. Okay, let's say I get four copies of them split up. Right, so I and so I have four CP tokens. I can use one CP token to trade 50 Landy shards for 60 Angelina shards. I can use a second CP token to trade 50 Sigma shards for 60 Claret shards, and then I can use those last two CP tokens to trade Lanford and trade Mystery Knight. So that way I get 60. Sh I get. An additional 10 shards of Landford and an additional 10 shards of Mystery Knight that way. So I would do four trades, right? And just profit that way. So yeah, these are just various examples of how you can make use of this event to get shards and he unlock heroes. Finally, along with this with this Valentine's event, you can also get Rachel and Varna Valentine skins here. After that, there's going to be a Virash, Omega, Shuri banner, and then an Elwyn, Leon, Bernhard banner. So just a great list of banners in general, lots of events, and I think the primary ones that you want to draw on up for these upcoming events would be the Maya and Ares banner, and the, C and the Valentine's event, or couples event as they call it on our server. You know? Of course, after this week, after the 23rd, so I think on July 30th, would be the next major update, which is Renetta and Licorice, right? Licorice is Lolly Bozel. Renetta, I really have not seen used. So, but that is once again three months away, right? The end of July. Actually, the end of July is not three months away. It's two months away. So in any case though, I mean, it's there's still some time until that banner, but that banner you do if you want. I, well, I personally want Licorice, okay, because I need another dark faction buffer for my party. So in that sense, it's going to be interesting because how you draw, like you know, whether to save for the Chinese Valentine's event or whether to save for the next upcoming major update will make things difficult for sure. Okay, so. Last but not least, I'm going to quickly go over the skins right away that are coming up. So on the 25th will be the Betty skin, and the Betty skin looks like this. Okay, let me just zoom in here a bit. So not too much to say, you know. I guess a very fancily dressed Betty holding an umbrella. So that's the first skin. Next will be, the next skin would be the Wyler. Macholado, his detective skin, and I have it shown along with a Serena skin for, and this Serena skin comes from the 
Apex Season, right? Apex Season 4. So this is a free skin for Serena. Wilder's skin is this detective skin, which actually looks pretty good. So that's the second skin. And then the last two skins I'm going to show are the Valentine skins. So Rachel's skin. I've, I've shown this one before for sure, but this is how it looks like. And then the Varna skin, which does not have this extreme bounce, by the way. Okay. But she does kind of move up. I believe she does kind of move up and down like this. But the bounce here is not as extreme. Okay. So, yeah. All are very, very nice skins. But skins always are nice. At the end of the day, it's whether you use those heroes, right? So, but for me, I will very, I will very likely pick up the Rachel and Varna skins. Likely. Not guaranteed yet. Because Rachel isn't exactly actually... A primary character in my party unfortunately and neither is Varna you know Wilder is but Macho Lottos are always a gamble you know I really don't plan to put 4,000 crystals into that Macho Lotto so whether I'll get the Wilder skin will be very luck based ultimately and there we have it so ultimately lots of banners coming up lots of them very useful um you know you're going to have to, as I keep on saying, if you're new players, you're going to have to narrow down your focus for sure on which banners to draw for. I generally recommend drawing on any banner that has three characters because you're going to get a brand new hero that way. So, you know, the new players will probably draw on the Illustrial, The Heart of Young Jessica, Ledin, Rachel, Ulti Muller banners, as well as Virash, Omega Shuri, and Elwin, Leon, Bernhard, right? And maybe the, the couples event too. So, yeah. And then... then you know, long-time players like me would generally skip those kind of three character banners unless they're missing heroes and instead focus on the new, on the major update banners, right? So in my case, I'm definitely doing Maya and Ares. I'm probably going to get one character from Elusia and Shalinka, and then I don't know, I still have not decided what to do for the Valentine's event. Because that one, because there's a Valentine's event and there's Lolly Bozel that I need. So very likely, what I will personally do would be, I imagine I'm probably going to commit some resources into the Valentine's event, but I'm going to have to save a bunch for Licorice as well. And there we have it. So yeah, lots of planning to do. I actually, yeah, honestly speaking, I actually haven't figured this out yet myself, especially with that Valentine's banner. But thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you find this information useful to you. Nitro out.